release yourself from these binds and just use the power of love, your love for them. Because when you allow yourself to get abused, that's not love. I have been vlogging pretty much my commutes to and from work almost every day for all oh, the past two years. And I haven't posted any of them because it's been about a medical issue, but it's not my medical issue. I've just been the one that's been the support person. And I don't want to talk about somebody else's condition, even though I have been intertwined in it. I, I want to give my side of it someday, but I can't really do that unless the other person grants me permission to discuss it. So this is going to be a little different. I'm going to try not to talk about that piece of it, but that piece definitely has something to do with my video today because for two years, well, honestly, for six years, I've been very much entwined and dealing with the medical field, the mental health field. And I have fought and I have worked with and I have every in and out that you can imagine with these medical providers and hospitals, significant hospitalizations and it has been a challenge and yesterday I kind of hit my all time low and I admitted that I was feeling defeated, basically. And that is something I might incorporate into this because I think it's very important for people to see the lows, not just the highs. And I woke up today. And I read A Course in Miracles, or I used to read A Course in Miracles. For years, I've just been reading it on and off. And when I go through my lows, I really don't read it. And I think toxic positivity, I'm done with it. I've really delved into the toxic positivity piece where I've attended Tony Robbins' virtual programs. And I've just, I really have followed a lot of people who might be considered toxic positivity. And I'll be honest, I feel better when I am focused on that instead of the negative, obviously. But at the same time, it's a lot of money to spend. And there's videos out there that focus on positivity without charging you thousands of dollars or making you buy their book or do their workshop or whatever it might be. So I get a little murky on that. I don't think you should have to pay exorbitant amounts of money to have a pep talk, basically. So what I'm trying to tie in, and it's probably not coming out right because I feel like I'm stumbling a little, but for so many years, I have fought and I have spent so much energy focused on the mental health system and hospitalizations and fighting to get the medical help that the person deserves. And it's been a, it's been a fight. So I kind of hit my all time low yesterday. The day before, like it's been kind of progressively going downhill and it, I've just felt defeated. And I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm so defeated at this point, not just with the system, but with the person who doesn't want to get help. You can't force somebody to get help, Let's face it. If they don't think anything's wrong, there's nothing you can do about it. 
And I think it's time. I think today is my day that I need to let it go. So for two years, I posted daily vlogs or I didn't post, I taped daily vlogs to outline what I been through on my side of things and how to get what you need from a broken system. And I was expecting to have this grandiose, happy story at the end, like, this is what you need to do to get to this point. And once you do all of this, everything's going to be better. And today, I'm here to say, it didn't work. <laughs> all the positive affirmations and all the fighting and I don't know it just it didn't work and today we're gonna start fresh and today I'm saying let it go there are so many people out there who are suffering so much watching somebody else suffer and trying to help that person but if the person doesn't want help you really can't do much. You can either go down the rabbit hole with the person or you can take care of yourself and hope the person comes to you. And if they don't, I don't care who the person is, there really isn't a hell of a lot you can do because sometimes by helping them, you're pushing them away. And I, that's what I figured out. The more I've tried to help, the more I've pushed the person away, the more I've pushed providers away because they don't like me calling them out on their bullshit. So what I say today is hello, freedom. Goodbye, fighting. I'm going to release myself from this bind that has kept me seriously. I've been imprisoned in this web of illness for years any of my friends or family can tell you and it's taken its toll and it's not about me my goal is to help other parents loved ones whoever it might be who is entangled in this same type of web to free themselves and it's I think it's a good analogy, a web, because you are. It's like you are stuck in this web and you're being entrapped. And the more you fight, the less apt you are to be released. So stop the fighting. I'm here to say right now, I'm not communicating to the medical providers unless they communicate with me. I am not expending any more energy on an illness because I'm here to not see this person as ill. I'm here to let that go. So I'm not saying that I'm ignoring my loved one. I'm saying I'm no longer going to perceive my loved one as ill. I'm going to perceive my loved one as doing their thing and I'm doing mine. I'm just letting it go and I'm allowing the universe, God, whoever it might be, a higher power to, to perform the healing on this person or to guide this person because I can't guide them anymore. I've tried to guide them. What's the old thing? You can lead the horse to water. You can't force them to drink. And it is true. So all I can do is feed myself and... The first step in this process is letting go. So I think I might even write a letter. I don't know that I'll send it, but I'll write a letter saying it's time for me to let go and wishing my loved one well and trusting the universe to take over from here. So today is the day of release, and I want anyone who sees this to allow themselves to release, stop suffering, stop suffering in silence. It's time to stop being abused. Don't allow yourself to be abused because of somebody else's illness and let it go. 
Don't see them as ill. Stop fighting it. Just love them unconditionally, but love them from afar. And I think that's the best bet for today. So that's what I'm going to say. Release yourself from these binds and just use the power of love, your love for them. Because when you allow yourself to get abused, that's not love. That is not love at all. So that's not using your love to allow them to heal and to allow yourself to heal. So release yourself and trust that they are going to be that healthy person that you always knew and loved and just focus on that. Focus on who that person was before they were diagnosed with an illness or whatever it might be. And focus on the love, the actual love you had then. And let go of the resentment, anger, sadness, abuse that you have taken since. It's time to let that go and flourish and love. And we'll leave it at there. Now I am officially very late to work. So. <laughs>